shutdown checklist complete. Hi, I'm Reed Nelson with Tidal Aviation. Here's a couple tidbits that help go beyond your normal post-flight procedure and help keep your airplane in tip-top shape. Alright, so one of the first things I like to do right after I shut down is take good care of my headsets. You want to take good care of your headsets because this is your main line of communication between you and air traffic control. If they can't hear you or you can't hear them, somebody's going to have a bad day. So we want to take good care of our headsets. One of the very first things I do before any passengers get out of the airplane is I like to unplug the headset from the center console. Inevitably, somebody's going to trip on a cord as they're stepping out of the airplane, and it's going to work out a whole lot better if the cord's unplugged. The next thing we want to do is take particular care how we store the headset. Sometimes we'll see the headset is set on the back of a a seat like this. And Bose actually recommends not doing that. Over time, the tension and the pressure on these uh, ear cushions will actually damage the ear cushions and their ability to, to reduce the noise. And so Bose definitely recommends not doing that. What I recommend doing is we just stow them back here in Tidal Aviation. We put them back in the headset bag and then loosely put the cord in here. You don't want to wrap the cord real tight around there. That can actually damage the connections here and here. So for good longevity, just loosely store the cord inside of the headset bag. And kind of wrap it up so everything just sits in there naturally. And nothing's strained or stressed. That, that's a good technique, I think, keeps the headsets running long term. We do that with all our renters here at Tidal Aviation. And I can tell you, our warranty claims and our, our repairs of headsets is pretty minimal. One of the features on the Cirrus aircraft that I love are the cup holders. And as such, I like to make sure that they're in good work and shape. And I take good care of them, so they're there when I need them. We always make sure that before you leave the aircraft, they're in their upright and, and locked position, removing any bottles of water. This ensures that the next person to get in the airplane doesn't accidentally step on them. clean the windshield immediately after the flight because just like your dishes you don't want to leave them there for a week. One of the techniques we'll use besides referring to the POH our pilot operating handbook chapter 8 Sirius offers some great suggestions on how to properly clean your windshield as well as what chemicals not to use on the acrylic. If you add these few tidbits to your post-flight procedure, you'll enhance your flying 